15 miles due west of the Atlantic, nestled in downtown Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. fake. Here's Willis. And this one is incomplete. This defense for the Jaguars, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Second and ten. Again to throw, Willis on second down. That's complete, it's Josh Wiley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, Willis. And this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down you look at this Jaguar defense they interplay one from the bottom number 31 in the league Charles against the run and that's been an Achilles heel for them all season long being able to play against the run be able to slow teams down but it's not just that when you give up big chunks of yardage in the running game it also opens up the passing options for the team you're playing as well so typically when you don't play the run well you're getting hit in all phases Play action, Willis. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Bradley Chubb in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards, and that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. He'll return it from the six. Powers through. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48 yard punt, but 10 on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10. At their own 16. Now ETN to start the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six.
The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now Lawrence now going to move him around. Now Lawrence. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. On third down, Lawrence. Open man, here's Schwartz, complete. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They currently sit one game over 500 thanks to their victory a week ago. Now, Charles, they've been really an up-and-down team all year. Do you think that they have enough to get into the playoffs? Well, you did mention they've been up and down all year, so to me, the Bills are going to catch them. When they're at their best, I think they're definitely playoff worthy. But to me, they haven't been able to bring the intensity week in and week out, and that could be their Achilles heel. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. Sharp there with his feet, gets him a little extra space, and then drop just inside the 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This running game's so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. Touchdown! Jordan Akins, his first touchdown on the year. And the Titans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that, so he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. You talk about this Titan defense. They were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even mark. If you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, a pretty nice effort. They go play action now. Lawrence. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Caleb Farley. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there. And that really not the best decision either. Not at all. And that's something he did not do in their victory last week. 
No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. First and ten, it's Willis. This will go to Henry out wide. And they're getting down as he's inside the 40. An 11 yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. The slot man in motion right. Willis now off play action. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amber Thomas. And now off to the races down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7 7. So we'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, yeah, you'll get them next time. Here's second and ten. Now Willis. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold out of that one, and it's third down. And over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Third down, it's Willis. And that is incomplete. Nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. Fielded at the 33. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe don't do that. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, right back to ETN. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. The Jaguars at five and four now of the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. 
all on display in that victory. Hey, Ryan. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. They go play action with Lawrence. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Well, Lawrence going to move him around a bit. Lawrence. Hard throw, incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they are able to win that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a second and 10. Drop 60, drop 60. Throwing again on second and 10, it's Willis. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 42. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Willis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 28. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Now Willis on first and 10. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. 
Again to throw. Willis on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone. Is it a momentary roadblock for that incompletion? No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. The handoff running left. Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought it down. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. And that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Willis will look to throw it. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacks back at the 31. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Deep inside the 10. And he's down inside the 5 at the 4 before he's out of bounds. I want my money back. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Tajay Spears with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Titans have retaken the lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as it happens, and he's into the clear. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Play action. It's Lawrence. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Anthony Schwartz with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 17-14. To the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. And oh, he cuts up the football near his own goal line. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they've got it 
just two yards away from the end zone. They'll have it first and goal here from the two-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. ETN is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. One more time with ETN. Oh, but he's going to be met behind the line and taken down. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. On third and goal, Lawrence steps away to his left. Trevor Lawrence as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars would extend their lead here just before halftime. After a break down the middle. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Last play of the half. Here's Willis. Gets it out wide quickly. Burks with it. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Looking downfield for Jones. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. 
And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. Anthony Schwartz, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point splits the uprights. And that look is a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And running with power here. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. It's a play fake. Here's Willis. Flush to his right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Ben, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. Second and 10. Second down throw coming by Willis. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 36. Willis now off of play action. He'll let this go for the end zone. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Jordan Akins. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, Lawrence. 
He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And the Titans are going to get the football back at their own 17. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. 19 tight, 19 tight. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And brought in downfield by Burks. It's a gain of 35. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Play action. Willis. He gets it to Burks again. The 20. But he will step out of bounds all the way down at the five-yard line. A big play that time for the Titans. 43 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play results in right. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, his 12th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Titans take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now here's a throw, it's complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he... And it's a Titans touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins from 21 yards away. And the Titans have retaken a third quarter lead. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that will make this a four point game. Makes the score Titans 35, Jaguars 31. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. Say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. 
We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Lawrence on third down. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. Yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And they will take over first and 10. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. The shotgun snap to Willis. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to get it back here just past the 35. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. On the ground with Bigsby to start the drive. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has gone. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Lawrence changing the play. On second down, here's Lawrence. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. This is caught inside the 15. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point right down the middle. And that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. First and 10 now, Willis and the Titans at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. Now he's into the clear again. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Titans. Derek. 
Derrick Henry with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Titans use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Throwing up first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. And this is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis Etienne, 64 yards. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives him a three point lead. To the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight run. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Henry again on second down. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up. And then the big finish with the tackle. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. That is caught. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Now Willis on first and ten. But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And the Jags are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in the second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up, that last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. 49 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On first and 10, it's ETN. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. A 14 yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game. 
and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they just go up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They had two straight first downs, now a gain of nine to set up second and one. Motion man is Schwartz. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On second down, a run with ETM. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. But well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Now Lawrence now going to move him around. And they'll run with ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. And now an audible here into something else. Now Lawrence. This is caught. Touchdown. Evan Ingram from 10 yards out. And the Jags are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and through. These guys will take a 10 point lead. To the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Right there, right there, hurt. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. A shot downfield for Burks. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Second down, here's Willis. A shot downfield for Burks. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action. Here's Willis. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Another try, second and ten now. Willis. He's going to loft one deep left side here. 
Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now Willis. Oh, this will be incomplete. Willis gets hurt just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Willis, fourth down, has to have it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. the football here as they run on first down. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves him at third and one. Here's Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there. 30 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make this a three-score game now. And he moves to 17. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. And whistle blown, a timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here we go, Jackson. Now Willis on first and 10. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Willis out of the gun. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. But as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held. What a 